When you realize that 17 million girls around the world will never have the opportunity to go to school, it's overwhelming and it's easy to think, why try? What can I do? I can't fix this. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame win the national championship. Very quickly, it became clear to me that it was such an honor to be able to wear the Notre Dame jersey. That's why sophomore year we wanted to give back to this community and we organized cupcake sales. We'd show up to practice with cupcake batter all over us and before we knew it, it spiraled out of control and we actually raised enough money to send three girls to school in Nepal and it was just funny how we would joke about changing the world with cupcakes, but it kind of happened. Before that summer, I never really realized the transformative role soccer could play in these girls' lives. Even though they're in school, they're very timid and very shy and not participating. So I decided, because I'm a soccer player, let's get out on the soccer field. Even though soccer is a universal game, it's a man's game. So it took a few weeks convincing them to get out onto the field. But once they got out there, they finally relaxed and they learned it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to call for the ball and run and be competitive. It's okay to act this way and it really started translating from the field into okay. the classroom. How do you spell that? When I got back, I decided to create a nonprofit organization. It stands for Soccer Empowering Girls Worldwide and You because I believed my teammates and I here at Notre Dame by helping these girls in Nepal, we empowered ourselves. We realized, yes, we're busy as student athletes at Notre Dame, but we also have time to reach out to these girls 8,000 miles away. Everywhere we turned, there was someone who had been there before, and it was through the Notre Dame professors we were able to receive so much advice. It was just conversations with those professors who really broke it down for us and helped us start to turn this idea into a reality. Through this organization, we sponsor soccer girls in Kenya and Nepal. When you empower a girl through education and sports, they're going to marry later, have fewer and healthier children, and get a job with higher earnings. And that way they can break the cycle of poverty. And you can see it already happening. You see these girls raising their hands more in class. When there's an issue, they'll address it. And they don't just you know keep their heads down. And they look out for one another. And they walk each other home. In Nepal, it makes a world of difference for these girls to know they're part of something bigger than their little life. It's given them this identity and it's given them something to, to really live for and to be proud of. And that's the biggest change. I see them walking with their heads higher and I see them making eye contact. And you know, they're athletes, they're soccer players now. Current Notre Dame soccer players reached out to me saying that they wanted to carry on this tradition of fundraising for Segway, which I was extremely excited about. And, they came up with this incredible idea, 17 for 17 Juggling Challenge. This juggling challenge we the idea is you juggle 17 times, or if you can't make it to 17, you can donate to the Segway Project. It's been really fun to see the current Notre Dame women's soccer team take on this fundraiser and make it their own. I really hope the conversation of women's empowerment through sports, everyone knows what it means and everyone knows the power of sports and they know leaders not only on the field but off the field and everyone supporting girls not just here in the United States but around the world. Notre Dame taught me, yes, you might be going through a lot, but you can always do more. You always need to look at those around you and ask yourself, what are they going through and how can I help them? And that's what I've taken away from the school and I intend to carry it with me the rest of my life.